Hey guys, we're back here in the Gen 4 Duramax. We're gonna do another vehicle function. We go back into our vehicle, make sure that we're connected. We've got functions. And today we're gonna to go over a stationary DSOOT DPF regen. So we head in here. If you do a lot of idling, you're not going on long drives, you're gonna see that soot level rise. You can actually check the soot level via the auto agent dashboard. So we go in, we've got a 45% soot load. If you see that getting up into the 80s, 90s, and you're not driving enough to actually get that soot out of there, this is when you'd wanna perform one of those functions. So we go into the function, we do a stationary desoot regen. You need to make sure that you follow all of the instructions very carefully for safety. So we're gonna run this. So we need to make sure that the oil and coolant are at the correct levels. There's, we need to make sure that there's enough fuel. If there's fault codes present with the DPF, do not regenerate. We need to park the vehicle in an outdoor area away from property that could be damaged by high temperature from the exhaust. We need to put the vehicle in park and apply the parking brake. If it's a manual, we want it in the neutral gear. We don't use the throttle, clutch, or brake during this DPF regeneration. It may interrupt it. We want to open the hood to increase cooling in the engine brake bay. So we're going to continue. During the DPF, the exhaust will reach 500 degrees. We need to keep all flammable materials away. We can't stress that enough. People should not approach the tailpipe. When the DPF is active, the engine RPM will increase. While the regen cycle is cleaning the DPF, always be watching the vehicle until it's complete. Turning the ignition off will immediately stop the DPF regeneration in case there's an emergency. So before we continue, we need to start the vehicle. We go to continue. And then here we're gonna see the status. This process could take 30 to 60 minutes depending on your vehicle and soot level. Again, make sure that you follow the steps earlier in the video and park your vehicle in a spacious outdoor area away from any flammable materials. And that's how we initiate a stationary desoot regen. Make sure you check us out for more videos. As always, thanks for watching. Check out these videos and make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more EasyLink content. And we'll see you in the next one.